So now we're going to use conservation of momentum in Newton's experimental law to figure out what happens when something like a pool ball hits the side of the cushions at an angle and bounces. So here's our solid wall. Here's our initial velocity. Let's call it u. And it's a vector. And it let's say it comes in at a certain angle. This would be the normal. 90 degrees, so we'll call this angle theta, and then it bounces off at some unknown angle, which can be described, say, by vector v. So, can we find what vector v is from vector u and discover what this uh, law of reflection ought to be? So, let's just write it down as vectors. So, let's write it down. So, u, the initial velocity vector, has components in the x direction. Let's call it ux, if you want to stick with this vector notation, plus uy, y hat, and uh, that's our velocity in the before the collision. All right, so it's got x component and y component. Now, why do that? The reason, of course, is because momentum is always conserved in each axis independently. So momentum will be conserved in the horizontal direction, the x direction, and momentum will also be conserved in the y direction. So let's see if we can write down what these different things are. So let's write down u again. So what is this what is this term here, ux? Well we actually know it because we know this angle, so Okay, we know that the x component there, and we know the y component there, and so from this angle, we know that they're related by the sine and the cosine of the various angles. So let's conserve momentum first in the uh, x-axis and also in the y-axis to find the answer. Well. In the x-axis, we know that u cos theta x, if it's conserved and the mass of the object doesn't change, well, the velocity in the other direction is going to be the same, except for Newton's experimental law. So let's write that down now. So we have in the x-direction minus e u cos theta x hat, and in the y direction we have e u sine theta y hat. Now, y minus here and y no minus here. Let's look at it. When our object came zipping in here, it bounced, and it bounced off in that direction. So it changed direction in the x-axis. It was heading in the positive x-direction. After impact, it was heading in the negative x-direction. So that's why there's a minus sign there. What about the y-direction? Well, here it is coming in in the positive y-direction. After it bounced, it's still going in the positive y-direction. So we can see from our diagram, we don't need to change the sign over here. So this is pretty much the answer. So we should be able to notice, therefore, that this angle here is now proven to be equal to theta. So the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. And this is actually something you can remember because it also applies when you'll uh, deal with optics and light in a future course.